All right, for this final step, there's not a whole lot to do. This final step is we want to use the principle of mathematical induction to conclude. Now, principle of mathematical induction, to use it, we have to we have require two things. We need the base case, we need to prove the base case, and we need to prove the inductive step. These were done in parts B and C. So for this one, all you have to do is say, by parts B and C. That's it. By parts B and C, we've given a proof by mathematical induction, principle of mathematical induction. So I guess the question is, why would I even have this step if, I, if you can always write the same thing? Well, because I want, to, I want to emphasize to you as you're going through the problems that you have done a proof by mathematical induction because you have done the base case, part B, and the inductive step, part C.